Hello everyone, welcome back. I got in a little goodie here from CV Life today. All right, it is another bubble level. All right, so you guys that have been following my channel, you've seen that I'm a big fan of bubble levels. I'm gonna explain to you guys why. First, let me show you guys, in case you guys are ordering it. It's what you're looking for. Okay, so, um, I've, I have a whole bunch of them. I've done a number of reviews on bubble levels. Um, the ones I had in the past, like the one I have on this rifle here, is from uh, Monstroon. Uh, this one from CB Life is $2 cheaper. So I think this one was like uh, like $19, and I think this one is here is like $17. So, I mean, prices fluctuate, but, you know, the fact that it's $2 cheaper will kind of give you a, an idea of how their pricing runs. Um, so we've got an Allen key, which is nice because Monster did not give me an Allen key. And I've got like a whole collection of Allen keys from different things I bought. Now you might say, hey, what am I going to do with all these Allen keys? But here's the thing. Even though you probably already have this Allen key, if you're just like getting this in the mail and, you know, you're grabbing it and you're on your way to the range. Uh, if you don't have the Allen key with you or, or, or a set of Allen keys, yeah, it's nice that they give it to you in the box. Okay. So, we got an Allen key, and uh, let us take a look at this bubble level. It's in this little baggy thing here. Now, I'm looking at this for the first time. So, this is the first one I have from CV Life, and this is what it looks like. And what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to put it on this rifle over here, which has a, um, um, a red dot with a magnifier behind it. So what I usually do with, with, with guns that have a red dot and a magnifier, uh, usually I have to put it at the front of the rifle on the Picatinny reel. The reason is because with magnifiers, there's an eye relief issue. So uh, it, basically the, the rear of the magnifier needs to be a certain distance from your eye. Um, and also like, you know, I mean, basically these things have to, you know, red dot magnifier, this space is kind of taken up over here. I don't have much room for anything else back here um i mean even if i put like backup sites i usually end up putting them on the front rail over there like you know you, you know even though technically that's not correct it, it works for me um so i'm planning to put it on this rifle here with at the front of the rail and the reason why the uh you know the uh having a bubble level is so important okay is okay for, when you're looking through your scope, right, this is your line of sight, which is straight to infinity, okay? So your 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 scope is about two and three quarter inches above your bore, right? So your bore is down here, line of sight's up here. So what we're doing is essentially we're pointing the rifle up in order to get a zero, right? So so even though your your your, your barrel sits underneath your 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 scope. We have to point it up in order to get that zero. And then what happens is they end up looking like this, right? So your line of sight is straight. And then your, you know, the, the barrel's pointed up. Well, if I hold this to the camera, right, right, if I rotate this, right, right, if I'm rotating on the rifle, look how much that moves with just a little rotation, right? Right? So if I'm rotating, So that's just with the cant. That's how much your cant, I mean, your cant, like if you're, I mean, obviously you're not going to be completely flat to throw it off like a, a full three inches. But if you're just a little bit off, that'll throw it off one inch one way or the other at 100 yards. Okay. So for years, because um, I've been I've been shooting at this location right here for about uh, 15 years. Um, and this is where I do most of my shooting. So I would zero my guns at this location, right? Uh, before I started using the bubble level, and I would get them hitting, you know, at let's say 50 yards, because I would use a 50 yard zero, I would get them hitting perfect, right? But then I would go to a different location, and I would see that, like, all of a sudden, I've shifted to the right. And then I go to a different location, I'd see I'd shift it to the left. And what I would always end up doing is I'd blame the wind. Uh, you know, I'd blame the, the, the ammunition, right? The, the, the ammunition has a shift. So what was really happening is like when I'm leveling off the gun on the table here, right? Usually the scopes or the red dots, 
uh, they have they have some type of line in there. And what you're typically going to do is you're going to level off the gun to the to the surface of the earth, right? So that it's um, so that it's level or it appears level to you. But the problem is that the bullet is not reacting to the surface of the earth. The bullet is being influenced by gravity. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're shooting on the side of a mountain. Okay, this, the fact the fact that you're shooting on the side of a mountain uh, that's slanted like this. Uh, you know, your bullet is not reacting to that slant. It's reacting to gravity. So what I found is that when I started installing bubble levels on all the rifles uh, that I shoot at distance uh, and where accuracy like really matters, because let's say I'm doing precision shooting, I started noticing that no matter which location I was shooting at, I was, you know, on the bullseye. Okay? And, you know, like it took me a while to figure it out, but that's because of that can't. Right, because your line of sight is straight, right, and then your barrel is pointed slightly up, so your bullet is going to intersect your line of sight at some distance. But then what happens is, as you can't that rifle, you can see how that will easily move you. You know, because remember, you're not going to go all the way flat, but you're going to go just a little bit this way, or a little bit that way. That will easily put you one inch to the left or one inch to the right at 100 yards. Okay, um, so that's why now, like, and these things are cheap. And they're light, so there's like really no reason not to have it on a rifle that you want to have consistent accuracy of. So um, now the reason why I pulled out this scope over here, over here is I wanted to compare the two. And uh, you know I'm actually very surprised. This CV Life one is a lot bigger. Um, this is much bigger. And that matters because a lot of times with this scope over here, which is a 5 to 25, and it's got like, you know, this is a 34 millimeter tube. And a lot of times when I, especially like right now, I can look down and I can see it. But a lot of times like I'm in a, uh, I'm in a shady area or the sun's glaring. And a lot of times um, I find that, you know, I str it, it takes a, a bit, a little bit of effort to find that bubble level, especially if the sun's like glaring in at the side over here, which it does at one of the locations that I shoot at. Uh, this larger, this larger bubble of, you know, I'm going to take these off. And now that I'm thinking about it, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch them. I'm going to put the bigger one on this scope over here, uh, that has the, uh, the five to 25 scope. And I'm going to put the smaller one from Monstrum on the other scope that just has the red dot. Okay. Uh, and like I said, it's completely unplanned. I, this one uses an Allen key. The one from Monsoon uses a star key. I gotta go get the star one. I'll be right back. Let's hold on for a second. All right, I'm back. I got the star key. So the star key I'm gonna use from that Monsoon, which I'm taking off this gun because I like the CV Life one better. Let's go. Now I do like, I had lock, uh, lock tight at this. There we go, I just broke it. Took a little bit of effort to break that light Loctite. So what I do with the Loctite is uh, usually I'll apply it to the screw and let it dry. A lot of times I'll hit it with, a, with like a hair dryer, right? And then I'll reapply it again. Um, basically anything that screws onto a gun, which is vibrating, you, you, you have to uh, Loctite. So I can see like right now, even though, yeah, I mean, I put so much Loctite Having applied it twice, that yeah, it's definitely like sticking on here. So, actually, let me put these two side by side here. So, the CV Life on the on the right, and the Monstrum on the left. I mean, the CV Life is way bigger and two dollars cheaper. That's a much much bigger glass. Now, one of the things I will typically do is I will use a, a, another bubble level, like, a, to compare. Uh, and, you know, what? right now i got, like, two bubble levels right here. I just use one to, you know, to make sure that, because I already compared the, the Monstrum one uh, to, um, to, uh, to, you know, to a, uh, a small contracting bubble level. So I just want to compare these two bubble levels to each other just to make sure that there's... 
they're both saying the same thing. I think I expect that they would, but I'm just gonna attach this to the top rail. Move this gun over here real quick. Now with, with these bubble levels, basically you do have to like really tight you know tighten them down in order for that bubble to you know, because if you if you put it on there kind of loose, what happens is um a lot of times the uh you know it, it just it's just not sitting properly. So you do have to tighten it up on the rail. So right now I'm just doing a test to make sure that they're saying the same thing. So right now they're not because I tightened one and I didn't tighten the other. There it is. As soon as I tighten them, they're not the same, they're saying the same thing. Okay, so that's one of the things that you gotta do with these bubble levels. You gotta, um, you, 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 you gotta, you gotta, you gotta test them. You know, you, you got you do have to test them against each other. All right, so now I'm just, cause I, I, I just put them on a random spot on this other gun here on top of the rail and, and, and tighten it down just to make sure that they're, they're both reading the same. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is the the uh, the CB Life one, which is the the bigger one, I'm just gonna undo the screw a little bit here. Now, like, like I said, normally I like to, well, first of all, I, I like to do this indoors. So if I drop the screw, I don't lose it on the gravel here. So I'm, I'm holding this carefully over the table as I unscrew this. Okay. So we're gonna take some Loctite. We're gonna put it on the screw over here. Okay. Oh, that's good and open. A generous amount of screw, uh, and like I said, this is uh, like in a couple of days. I'm just going to take this off and redo this because I want to get that black tight on there twice. And I find if I don't do it twice, they 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 they, they always come loose. If I do it twice, I find that they stay on. Okay, so that's good. So. So we're taking the CV life now and we're putting it on this 5 to 25 scope, which I use for distance shooting because it's got a much bigger, nice bubble level. Let's flip this around. Now it's tight. I think I had, I tried it one way, it was too loose, and I flipped over the, the locking side to the other side. And now it's tighter. Tighten it up. I'm just curious, you know what? I actually got enough space in front of this scope here. I'm just gonna put the other bubble level right in front of it just for a second. I have space just, just to reconfirm that these two are reading the same. Oops. Nope, don't have space there. I mean, I already did it. I'm just being. Okay, let's move up just a little bit. Oh, yeah, actually, I did get it in. Tighten this down. Yeah, they're really the same. I mean, there's, there's a slight difference. You probably got, I need to tighten up. Yeah, 
if you're seeing a slight difference, it's because you just got to tighten it up. It's not sitting right on the rail. Now, this is, um, I've tried the other bubble levels. The ones that attach, not even that one. I, there's other bubble levels that sometimes attach to the scope up here. Uh, and they stick out you don't want that because those are going to get hit those never stay straight so the nice thing about this design is that um it actually sits on the on the picatinny rail which is flat so i mean even if you hit this it's not going to break it's not going to bend it's not going to move uh it just sits on the gun in an area like underneath your scope where it, 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 it can basically never be hit So yeah, now I'm taking. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure they were they were the same. And I've had I've had bubble levels like even like from the same company that sometimes I'll put them on on the rail like this, and they're not like perfect perfect. They don't perfectly match each other, and, and that's fine as long as you're consistent, right? Um, because as long as your cant is always consistent, I mean it doesn't matter so much if it's like maybe a half a degree one way or half a degree you know as long as you're consi consistently shooting it all the time with the same cant at every location um you know you're, you're going to be able to get consistent groupings okay so this other one the the other one from my screen i'm putting on this other gun here that just has a red dot and i'm putting that to the front uh because that's what i gotta do with the red dot with the magnifier And that, that works out pretty good because when I move through the magnifier, I, a lot of times I can, I can, uh, I mean, first of all, I, like I, with my left eye here, with my left eye, like here I'm looking for the magnifier. And then if I wink my right eye, left eye can see the, can see the bubble level. And on some magnifiers, not this one right now, I can actually see the, the, the bubble level through the, uh, the, um, uh, the magnifier itself. Now, if I flip it over, when I'm looking through the de through the red dot, yeah, I can definitely see the bubble level and know exactly where I'm at. So I could be looking at my target at distance, and you know the bubble level is right there. Okay, so I can see in the red, you know, in the red dot. While looking at the red dot, I can see that my my cant is perfect. Okay, um, so there's, there it is, guys. That's the CV Life bubble level. Uh, if you're interested in shooting at distance with uh, with consistency, y you have to have one on your rifle. I mean, it, it is like a, a must. Uh, it makes a difference. And, and like I said, it's that if you can't, again, this is your line of sight. This is the bullet rising as it comes out of your barrel, right? And if you as you can't it, you can you can easily see, right? right? Line of sight, straight, bullet rising out of your barrel as I as I rotate it you can see how it will move one inch right or left uh with the can all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video drop some comments below let me know what you think uh and i'll include a list a link um uh to this uh cb life uh, uh bubble level which right now is like the the the, the cheapest I've, i have found and it is of a design that is virtually unbreakable unless you hit it with a hammer because it's sitting on the Picatinny rail, like right underneath your scope or, you know, somewhere on the rail flat, right? Uh, it, rather than like sticking out like an, like an antenna on some other designs I have seen. So drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you all soon.